What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Recently I had a problem with my PS4 and it went into the blue light of death. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I resolved my issues. Okay, so if you guys don't know what the blue light of death is for the PS4, whenever you first turn on your PS4, the light bar will blink blue for a second, then it should go to a solid white, then it should connect to your TV and show the home screen for your PS4. But what happens whenever your PS4 goes into the blue light of death, the light bar will just continuously blink blue, it will not go solid white and it will not connect to the TV. If you turn your PS4 off and you turn it back on and it is still experiencing this issue, the blinking blue light, that is when you will know your PS4 is in the blue light of death. Now there is a couple things that could be causing the blue light of death and causing your PS4 not to connect to your TV. One thing is the HDMI cable. A simple way to check to see if it is the HDMI cable is to purchase a new HDMI cable connect it to the PS4, connect it to the TV, and see if this resolves your issue. Another thing it could possibly be is the hard drive is loose. A simple way to check to see if it is a hard drive issue is to take off the cover for the hard drive and see if it is loose. If it is, just push the hard drive back in and tighten up the screw and see if that resolves the issue. But what I am gonna be showing you today is how I resolve the issue for myself. And the issue I had, and the issue I had had to do with the resolution with the TV. Honestly, if you are experiencing the blue light of death, I would recommend checking this out first. It is the easiest thing that you can do. It doesn't require you to open up your PS4 and it doesn't require you to purchase anything else. It's really quick and easy. But right now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to check to see if it is the resolution causing your blue light of death. Okay, so here's my PS4. I have it turned off right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to put it into safe mode. So how you do that is you're going to press and hold the power button. You're going to hear a beep. You're going to hold it for seven seconds. You're going to hear a second beep. You're going to let go and you're going to check on the screen of your TV and it's going to show you everything from there. So let me show you just how to do it. So you're going to press and hold the power button. There's the first beep. You're going to hold it for seven seconds. There is the second beep. Now we're gonna look at the TV screen. Okay, so you are gonna do what it says on the screen. You're gonna connect your controller using your USB cable and then you're gonna press the PS button. So now that your PS4 is connected in safe mode, you're gonna choose the second option, which is changing the resolution. You're gonna click that. You're gonna hit X to click that. And you're gonna hit OK. Now what that's gonna do is your PS4 is going to restart. After it's restarted, you're gonna be able to change the resolution output for your PS4. So you're gonna just hit that. So now your PS4 is going to restart, turn back on, and you're gonna be able to choose the option. Okay, so it's turning back on here. Okay, so now it is on the resolution screen. I'm gonna leave it on automatic because that's what I selected and it solved my issue, but you can also go through the options to see what works best for you. But like I said, I'm gonna leave it on automatic and I'm gonna hit X to select it. Okay, so now if this was the issue you were having and it was a resolution problem that caused your blue light of death, you should be back on your home screen on your PS4. Your PS4 should be working fine as of right now. One thing I just want to remind you is it might take a couple minutes to get from safe mode to the screen to select the resolution. The reason it was really fast today is because I've already fixed the problem on my PS4, but whenever I first had the problem and I had the blue light of death, it took about 15 minutes to get from the safe mode screen to be able to select the resolution. So it might take around 15 minutes for you as well to have it come up so you can select the resolution. If after you wait 15 minutes after you select option two, if it still hasn't come up on the screen, then that that means this was not the problem your PS4 is having and I would recommend to check the HDMI cable simply by replacing it or to check to see if the hard drive is loose. Usually this is the most common thing that happens but like I said it could still be the HDMI cable or the hard drive simply came loose. But if changing the resolution has helped you out with the blue light of death, comment down below and let me know. Thank you for watching, I hope this has given you guys some information on how to fix your PS4 if it is in the blue light of death. Now we'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.